I'm fine. Couldn't catch this IFL TV with Eddie Hearn. Jay Hoppertire. How are you, Edward? He thought one? you were just a fan. No, I'm I a fan. Taking a photo. You know, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty big. It's pretty big star. I know. Yeah, no, he's, he's, got he's got a bit. He's got a bit. He's gone to his head the last couple of years, but. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, mate. No, we were talking about Jay earlier on, and yeah. just thought we'll uh, kind of get you two together. Yeah, listen. Yeah, a frustrating situation with the IBF, but you move on. Listen, when everybody knows he's the best cruiserweight in the world, belts are always important. As a young fighter, you want to win belts. When you win the Ring Magazine belt, when everyone knows you're the standout number one and you get a life-changing opportunity, you can't let it pass you by. So he's got to go in there, Saturday destroy Ellis Zorro and then get back out again quickly. You know, he was kind of treading water for a little bit of time. Now everything's lined up for him to go and dominate in big fights. You know, you've spoken about this, but it must have been a difficult decision to relinquish your title. Um... And this card is one of the biggest cards, if not the biggest card in history. So it wasn't the most, as long as everything got over the line, you know what I mean, then we'll be signed. But, um, you know, it is what it is. We have now, and uh, I'm just looking forward to Saturday. But obviously you have got a job to do Saturday, so you're focused on that. But is the goal now to kind of reclaim uh, your title or go that route? Yeah, I think, I think win other belts, win all the belts, eventually move to the heavyweight division, just be in big fights. You know, we know where our next two fights are, and then after that, you know, there's going to be other opportunities here. I'd still like to see him headline in a big stadium in Australia. He enjoyed fighting in the UK. There's big fights for him in America as well. Right now, he's flying. You know, like I said, sometimes you tread water and you can't really see where you're going. Then all of a sudden, bang, it happens for you, and it happens because he's done the right thing. He's got a good team around him. Mick's done a great job as well. And uh, you know, as I said, when you're working with the best cruiserweight in the world. You'd like the belt, but when you got the Ring Magazine belt, what more do you want? Ask him who his favourite cruiserweight is of all time. Who's your favourite? Yeah, Van der Holyfield. What about yours? Yeah, I respect that. Yeah. Only, yeah. only, only just behind Jay Opta. Not Tony Bellew, no? Oh shit, yeah, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got Tony the WBC world title. I tell you what, Tony Bellew, Jay Opta, what a great fight. What to happen? Well, you never know. Might be a bit easier now. Did you take that fight? Has Bellew come out of retirement? I think Bellew's you know, retired and he's happily retired, you know what I mean? No disrespect to him, he's shown a lot of love towards me, so, you know, shout out to Bellew. Brilliant. All right. I'm glad he said something like reasonably nice, because if he said anything negative, Bellew would have come straight out of retirement. So, <laughs> and I don't want to see that. So. <laughs> Wait for the headline first, mate. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good luck, mate. Cheers, mate. I'm fine. Thank <laughs> you.